CIG has made some huge progress in the PU as well as Squadron 42 for the month of January. And in this video, we're going to cover all the latest news as it pertains to the progress and development of the projects. Let's get straight into it. For the persistent universe under the AI category, they continue development on generating navigation mesh for planets. Under Art's character, they finalize racing suits and helmets and continue work on the Headhunter outfits. They started exploration on legendary armors and worked on handoff sheets, whatever that means. Under Art's ships, the RSI Polaris is in gray box. This, this is a big one. A lot of the community is waiting for this ship, including myself. And looking at the way it's progressing, I think this ship may be ready for June or maybe Invictus. Or maybe a reveal in Revictus. Uh, but we're going to have to see. Also, uh, modular pieces were completed for lifts, habs, corridors, and hangars. So this is going to help them quickly uh, knock out the RSI galaxy immediately after the Polaris is complete. Um, so we'll see how this progresses along. Progress on the RSI Zeus is in gray box stage as well. So the Zeus, I am almost confident it's going to drop in one of the newer patches maybe 323 or maybe definitely the june patch i think i think this ship is essentially almost complete completion of lod zero phase for previously announced vehicles and significant progress on an undisclosed ship development continues on variants of the aegis retaliator this is good they're going towards the gold standard for the aegis retaliator finally we can actually have a retaliator and be able to modify them as we wish uh, that ship is going to be a Swiss Army knife, believe it or not. In the economy section, they completed the balance pass on AUEC costs for FPS weapons. Also, they're assessing the impact on structural salvage on the in-game economy as well. On the core gameplay, they have to continue porting on Squadron 42 features to the PU with multiplier capabilities. They've enhanced EVA mechanics with intuitive strafing, behavior, and multiplayer support. They advanced the development of resource network life support features and jump point gameplay really exciting stuff so this seems like this is what we're going to be seeing for the pyro patch hopefully it's 4.0 ongoing support for server meshing and server crash recovery um we're going to be seeing server crash recovery testing very soon with maybe um a 3.23 build it seems like um they have a replication layer uh slotted for 3.23 so we should be seeing server crash recovery with that they're also refactoring docking and landing systems. In locations, they worked on location markup of the new star map and cargo elevators. Progress was made towards Pyro's initial release, including outpost placement and mission integration. Continue work on cargo features and elevators for hangars. Also, they initiated white boxing for building interiors. They, under research and development, they made further advancements on temporal render mode for atmosphere and clouds. In the web platform, they also focused on developing the launcher 2.0 with a refresh UI design and updated technology. I just covered this in um, a few videos back and uh, it's looking really good. All right. So under the Squadron 42 category in the AI content, they continue focus on improving personal location and locker for NPCs, including behaviors such as changing outfits and showering. Showering? Damn, they really? <laughs> This is going to be interesting. <laughs> People are literally going to be living in this game. Under AI features, ongoing polish of technology for firing arcs, rocket pods. Refinements of behaviors in levels to, to ensure cohesive animations and systematic behaviors. Under the animation category, they made further refinements on AI feel in various chapters. Work on malfunctions, prone EVA, boss fights, combat animations for different enemy types and implementation of additional line of old man to enhance player relationships under arts environments it says here that they made progress on chapter one four and five they complete a pass on the javelin including intact and damaged interior lighting and dynamic dressing they updated the javelin's exterior to a higher standard and a higher standard updates to locations in chapter four and the Odin system. Damn, can't wait to see that. Under the core gameplay, they continue polish on star map features, including new information box outs and quantum routing, enabling saving and loading of characters. They also did a collaboration with the backend team on data serialization for character customizer. 
On the level design, they made progress on the Archon Station social area and walk and talk section. Focused on closing outstanding issues in social sections. Work on conversations between the Idris crew, referencing the player and in-game situations. On the narrative, they continue work on games, collectibles, and Galactopedia entries for lower progress. On the UI, they made polish on vehicle UI, including holographic elements on low-tech ships. Also, improvements to display quantum travel information and turret UI elements. Just to let y'all know, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.